In this video, you will discover the power of Luminar Neo AI tools for background replacement. I will be swapping a simple backdrop for a more complex one. Watch the video until the end to see how easy it is to swap a background in Luminar Neo. I also want to let you know that I am leaving in the description below the links in where you could find both photographs I'm using today. So without further ado, let's get straight to the point. Okay, here we have the photograph. I will start by uh, retouching and adjusting some of the uh, color tones of this photograph before removing the background. To accomplish that, we'll first go to the develop raw section and I will switch this profile to portrait. Yes, I like the tone. And then I will go to color. Here I will select flash. I'm looking at the skin tone, it's kind of greenish. So I will, I will increase this a little bit around there and also will apply some tint. I think that is okay, maybe there. So I'm done with develop. Now I will do the regular enhance, okay? So it's like always, I use the enhance tool. After the enhancement, I will do face AI. Face is very clean, but I will do some face AI here, like around maybe not too much, 20 is fine. I will enhance the eyes with the eye enhancer. Apply some dark circles removal and improve the eyebrows a touch, okay? So with this two, I'm done. So I, will bring, I want to bring more sharpness to her eyes. So I will do the details too. And then I will apply small details around there. See the medium details are too much. So I'm gonna reduce the medium details and we'll do some sharpening in here around 37, 37, 13 is okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, now uh, I want to brighten up this area or more than brighten this area up, I want to soften her skin because I, I will bring a background with a bunch of oranges in the back, right? So but I want to soften her skin. So the way I the workaround I, I used for accomplishing that is that I apply a glow to the areas that I want the skin to mimic the softness of the skin. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I will click on glow and over here I will select glow and an amount of glow I will put maybe around 50. Let me try 50 first and you will see that it's affecting the entire photograph, right? I, Link here. So I don't want the glow to be in this area. I want the glow to be in here. So to apply the glow only in here, I will click a mask in and select a brush. Strength to 100% is fine with me. So I will start painting the effect only over the areas that I want it to be. All right. Good. There is fine for me. Um, I can always adjust the amount. If I think that it's too much, I can reduce it a little bit. I think there is fine. Let's see? Yes. Okay. All right. Now done with the glow. Now I want to remove the background. So to remove the background, I have to go to the layer properties uh, section. Click on that and select the masking. Uh, in under masking, I'm looking for this uh, option that says portrait background. And the way the portrait background removal works is that Luminar Neo will scan the photograph and determine the best mask isolate the subject. In this case, a portrait, a single person. Um, this other one, the background removal. For are for more complex ones because it will have 
maybe you have a portrait or a photograph or buildings and cars of nature and something like that. So it will scan the entire image and decide uh, where to put the masks. So in another tutorial, I will show you how this background removal AI works. For, but for this case, I will use the portrait background. So I will click on that one. It will scan the photograph and then it wants me to remove the background. It's asking me to click this button. So I will do that right now. And this is the result, all right? It requires some fine tuning. I will do it right now. And to fine tune these areas, I need to click on the refinements brush. And over here we have three different options. The transition is just to control this white, white area here. So, you know, the transition from uh, the background to your subject. The object itself is the subject you want to keep. And the background is just to work with the background. In this case, I will work with two of these uh, uh, controls, which one, one is the transition, the other one is the object. So I will first fix the transitions uh, over this area here. So I will click on transition and reduce the opacity maybe, uh, I mean the size, around 48. I want to paint like this. Okay, that's good. In this case, since I'm uh, choosing a background that is orange, right, I'm not that concerned of being too uh, precise, right? Um, sometimes you might need to do several passes to have this transition part uh, done well. But in this case, uh, I would use it the way it is. I mean, I mean the results that uh, Luminar Neo is suggesting. So I think so far it's good. I can always bring back some of the details using the masking tool. In this case, I think I will leave it the way it is. I don't know what happening here, but just in case I will switch to object and paint it back. All right, I don't want a hole to be there in the mask. Okay, so basically I just now need to click on the layer properties. Oh, so this is the removed background so if i want to add more of the uh of the i mean this part in here i will need to go back to layer properties click on masking and mask actions and then show the mask so over here if i want to paint more of the mask i will reduce the strength probably paint a little bit it back you see and then if i need to again refine the, the border I will need to go to masking again and go back here, select portrait background. It will remove the background again. And then I will go over again, the same situation. You see, it, it, it memorized and have the memory and remembers what I did. So if I want to break this, this thing back, I would need to do this. And then probably, yeah, it will fix it the way I want it. All right, so I'll click this uh, layer properties again. And then I will bring the background. I previously selected a background of uh, a group of oranges um, because I want to match the theme, right? So I already added uh, the photograph, I mean, the image of the oranges to my images. If you haven't, you, the only thing you need to do is to click this plus sign and then load the image to uh, Luminar Neo. And let me look for that. Oh, so this is the one. All right. Now the next step is just to switch the layers. I will grab this one on top of the background and then I will select the background again and increase the opacity to 100. And then I have it. There you have it, guys. You see, it's really cool. We replace the background real fast. You know, I took some time because I want to explain to you guys some of the steps. But you see, when you put a background that is matching somewhat the colors, it will, you will have no issues at all. So if you were to work with this photograph, for example, if you want to add some other effects like the ants or whatever, um, I would recommend you guys to export this photograph as a TIFF file and then open it again in Luminar Neo because we don't have the option to merge layers in here yet. But uh, if you were to do something else with this picture and you want to edit or retouch it, 
the entire picture as, a, as, a, as only one picture, you will need to save it and reopen it again. Okay. So that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, hit the like uh, button and also the bell so you can get a notification every time I upload new content. So again, guys, thank you very much. And until the next straight to the point tutorials. God bless you all. Bye bye.